Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God Almighty, Lord, preserve my strength. Lord, I want you. Lord, preserve my strength. Amen. Oh, Wednesday or Thursday, yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for keeping him, preserving him, protecting him, his travels all over Africa and all over America, and even if he was in Canada. <laughs> Thank you, he's not Cena. Amen. He's not crippled. He's able to. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping him. Amen. Yes, from where he came from. No, it's not. A lot of people don't even make it to 65 or 60. You're right. Even to 50, Lord Jesus. Oh, you're right. People who go and see now can't even, they can't. People need a diaper. Need someone to feed them. A cane and a walker. He can walk on his own. 
No walker. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. No. Amen. That you preserved him, kept him, protected him across two plus continents in many countries. Amen. Okay. Now we thank you. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. Some years back, I th I always want to say this whatever I have at the opportunity. Some years back I had uh, a, I was privileged, I would say, to mm. live with this man. And I I saw that every uh, towards the end of the year, from October, November, December, there is one terrible sickness that will happen to him. It's either October or November, you know, something like that. Something mm. terrible will happen that we will have to, you know, get to the hospital, we have to be hospitalized. Right. And when they look at him, when they check him, they will say, he didn't see anything. The demon attack. No, nothing. Amen. Amen. But he, he would just, well, something would just happen. And they would keep him in the hospital. They would, well, there is nothing we can do. We'll just wait for him to snap out of it. Amen. The blood will we'll, we'll bring him back to life. Because, of course, the doctors have said they, they don't know what to do. Exactly. Because they don't say anything wrong with him. Amen. Well, okay. But you see, God will just show Preserve. up. And God Himself will revive him. Amen. So, and clean, keep giving him and maintain a clean bill of health. You know, and then I said this was so. Amen. The enemy has been Amen. And that was how God broke that yoke. Amen. Since then, nothing has happened to him. He didn't have to go rush into the hospital like Amen. Amen. He hasn't even caught COVID. Amen. He didn't even catch COVID. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for preserving him. Squash. Thank you, Lord. No, cease the assistance. Amen. There was so much in his life that we would not have any choice other than to give God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for preservation. He reigns. to the Lord. He reigns. We glory to the Lord. He reigns. 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 He
uh, testimony. Uh, you know, he is of God. He is believed by the Spirit. Mm. So we are grateful. We are grateful to God. We are grateful for what we have done for this man of God. We are grateful. Amen. He had mercy. His mercy. For God's love. Yeah. For God's love for him. Amen. Say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So have nothing to give you. But to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 No, Lord. Even him successfully getting his license. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, God. To sustain it, you preserve it. Amen. Thank you for your love. Amen. Thank you, God, for your grace that you have. Preserve him. him, yes. Thank you, Lord, for being so kind to him. Lord, we are all witnesses to the fact that you are a kind God, you are a good God. Thank so you. This Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you for breaking the gates of brother, causing all yes, the bars of iron. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for laying your hands upon him. Thank you for your anointing thank upon you. his life. Thank you for all that you have helped him to achieve. Yeah. So you will love me all the time. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. And we also thank you for all the spectators and visitors in this outreach at this beautiful life day. And please give us a thumbs up and share this Amen. video to your uh, other social mission. God, the best of God has found what? The best of you. Amen. God has the best of what? You. Of me. Amen. The reason is that in this world that you are in, you can think of anything of yourself. Amen. Millions of people can think of anything about you. But what does God think about you? Amen. Uh, can you bring okay. all the children? I'll be right back. Gotta go get some people. Oh, yeah. All right. Amen. Hey, Amen. Yeah. It's free parking. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. had to pay it to visit us. Oh, you have to pay to park it? It's not free? I will pay for them. I think I might pay Oh, maybe so. Amen. Family. God bless. Family. Well. Yeah, amen. Oh, they work here. Oh, okay, amen. So we have a beautiful outreach. Thumbs up and share this video. To your other say shows your media. The message today is God has the best. Amen. When you may think of the worst of yourself, and you may think worst of you. 
And anything can happen, but what does God think about you? Mm. That's the message. Say to yourself, say to your neighbor, say, I don't know what you think about you. Amen. But I don't know what to think about you. Say that to somebody. I don't know what to think about what? Me. About me. But I know what God is thinking about. Amen. Because in this world we are in, the Bible says many are the thought of anybody. Some of you cannot have been kicked. Or assume what someone is thinking of you. And you cannot mean by the thoughts or the way people are thinking of you. You can't think about that. The only thing you can think of is what is God thinking oh, the about you. Her value. I would say the thought of going to what you and me are oh, good and um, to bring you to what a, a glorious expectation. A glorious stage. And if God is thinking of you like that, That's when will you live and act in the way other people are thinking of you? I want you to take this as an illustration. My mother. Love me so much. Mm. That whenever my mother will see me, my mother has a specific name that she tag to me. But my father will always say, Whatever you are thinking about this man, this is what this man is. This is my husband, father. So I'm compared and compared because in this world that we are in, there's a tendency. There are so many times I think of myself. And when I move forward to myself, what am I doing in this world now? Mm. But the moment I think like that, God himself has come and said, no, this is my thought for you. The thought of peace and to give what a glorious aim. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming to see that. I think I spent all that people coming. I always get to the glory of God. I didn't have um to pay. I didn't have plastic for the cash, so they're like, just take me right now. I'm like, God bless you. But I've told them that anyone that comes, they should leave everyone not disturbed. That then we are going to play everything. Amen. All parking is ready. Amen. Amen. So even though some people may not understand and come here, they will not be part of us. Amen. Amen. So, by the grace of God, you think what is God thinking of you? And what are you thinking of yourself? Mm -hmm. What well, we find that God is thinking of yourself. Don't live by the dictate of, the, of others. If you live by the dictate of others, you will be in a cage forever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you think, live by the dictates of yourself, you will kill yourself before you die. Mm. But when you lean on what God is thinking of you, the mind of God concerning your life, what is the will of God for you, you will ever rejoice. Because the Bible says the thought of God towards me and you are good and to bring God to a glorious end. So I don't know whatever you are going through right now. I don't know what anybody is thinking of you right now. But I know one thing that God always thinks of good of you. Amen. I want someone to let me read the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. I 
I so much like that place so much because it takes a picture. You are this picture. We are there to talk about. Yes. When in his time has he was according to the thoughts of the world. Yes. According to the things of the power of the world. Yes. The spirit that now walked in the kingdom of the position. Yes. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past. Yes. The Lord said our faith, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And we are by nature the children of God. Even as all of God who is with us for his great love, we are with the Lord. Even when we were there to sing and put it all together with Christ, I pray you. Amen. Amen. Well, you we are what? Where? Where are you? Sin. A sinner. As a sinner, I can't blame you for what you think. I can't blame you for your action. Because if God does not blame you, who are you to blame? If God does not condemn you, who am I to condemn you? Mm. If I say, you know, when you are in that condition, he choose to say, I did something good in you. Amen. It is true you saw yourself as a sister. But the Bible said, the way this of sin is death. Is death. But the gift of God is eternal, eternal life. life. And because of that wages of sin, everyone are in captivity, in problem, in difficulty, in one or the other. But Jesus Christ said, when you are in that faith, I'm going to I'm going to deliver you. That is not your life. It is true. The nature you have done is of sin. And you have condemned yourself. People have condemned you and said there's no hope. For you and for me. But he said, I'm going to do something. I'm going to die for this thing. I want to bring the good thing out of him. I will not let this people go die and go to hell. I will not allow them to be punished and tormented by the wicked ones. I will lay my life down for them. Because I see the effects today. Amen. Amen. Say thank God that He saw the best in me when I don't say anything. When I condemn myself, He doesn't condemn me. When everybody said there's no hope, I could remember my own immediate no brother. One day he said, There's no hope for this man. Let us leave him alone. And let him wander away. My own immediate sin of said that too, in my own face. But God said, No, I have a platform. I will make sure he fulfill my plan. Mm -hmm. There was another time, I myself, I said, Lord. Why are you why am I going to give any? And I tried many things. But God said, No, you have a better way. I don't know whatever you are going to. If you are listening to this thing online or you are in anywhere, the mind of God for you is that. Amen. He has a purpose for you. And the plan that He has for you and for me are good. That was why he chose to die on the cross of Christ. That was why he laid his life to die for you and for me. So anybody, any time of the day, don't mind whatever anybody is thinking of. Always listen to him and say, what are you thinking of God? What is your mind for me? Amen. What's your purpose for me? When maybe your friend condemn you and say, no, you can't make it in until you're alive. I'm going to do what you make. You cannot achieve and say, I'm a liar. 
I'm born to rule and reign. Amen. I'm born to be success. I receive it. I receive. When people say, oh, they are not going to you to them. And they say, oh, you can't make it this. You say that I'm going to make A in all my classes. Amen. Amen. So whenever they are saying negative, say that them that no, the God of God for me is the best. I better choose what God has for me. Because because of me, he died. He laid his life down for me on the cross okay. of Calvary, just because of me. That was why you see me today. 1974, I will still be as my Lord and Savior. Mm. I receive the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. After that and though you don't they be wrong, you always tell me that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that I should look unto him, the author and the finisher of faith. my faith. My. Not to look to anybody. My brother can disappoint me. My mother can disappoint me. My father can disappoint me. But he can never disappoint me. Because of me, he laid his life down. Amen. If you now embrace him for what he did, I want us to read that piece again. The patient that I've had. He said, Why you are still a sinner? The right. penalty of a sinner is death. Uh -huh. okay. Chapter 2, chapter 2 from verse 2 to, two to 5. Chapter 2, verse 2 to 5. Ephesians. In the time past, we walk according to the movement. So if you see people that are committing sin, please, my brother, I don't say, join them. They don't condemn them. Instead of you to condemn them, go to them and say, he forgive you even when you are sitting here. Mm -hmm. You embrace him. Just send that simple truth. He doesn't condemn anybody. That was why he gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Because he does not, he doesn't want anybody to go to hell. He now said, if you realize. That he have died for you, you are supposed to tell them that the same Christ that laid his life down for you and for me is asking them to embrace him the same way. That means I don't come to Christ because I'm perfect. No. It's because I was a righteous sinner. <laughs> On the way to hell. But as I was going to hell, he said, no, Moses, don't go to hell. He laid his life down for yes. me. He can't be worthy to be his son. His ambassador. He now asked me to do likewise to tell all of us here that he stood for you and for me and to everyone in the world is of good. It's of heaven. It's of where? It's not of death. It's of life. Mm -hmm. The enemy that are deceiving us claim to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he came so to life, make us life, life more abundantly. And life in the border. If we cannot embrace him for what he has done for us, we will not condemn 
anybody, regardless of who they are. That was why some people may like to offend you. Don't you say whether you really express it or not? You know, mm -hmm. you remember how he forgave you. What do you do? You forgive them. Somebody is not to fight with you don't fight. You don't correct. You are saying the best in everybody. Amen. You don't see their worst. You don't see what they have done. For you. Because you see what they have done for you. He said, while we were yet a sinner, he died for us. But if you have not embraced him, I'm beseeching you today. Why can't you just embrace him? Allow him to come into your heart. Allow him to come into your life. Let him have a way in your life today. I said, because of what I've done for you, I embrace you. Because they are paid the price. Can never do. Nobody can pay. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. But the gift that He gave to you and me is life eternal. This afternoon, if you are here or you are listening where you have never embraced, embraced him, why can't you just be? Bad than your head mm. and ask him to please come into my life. But if they have been blessed mm. and you have not been sharing his love, his compassion, the price that he paid on the front of the why can't you decide to go and share that with me? I said, Why? <laughs> if he can do this for me, what am I doing? I must go and share it with other people. That's what has kept me alive. Seventy years, nothing to me. There's a place in Tanit that I'm going. I'm on my way to heaven. And Johnny getting better every day. I'm on my way to heaven. And Johnny getting better every day. That is what I can say. Do it all. Do it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. And to trust in God. Do it all. Do it all. I've learned to lean upon his word. I've learned to lean upon the word of God. Not of any other thing. Trust me by preaching. Believe me by preaching. But for me, be the Christ. It is the best of me. That the best can come out of this world. That this world can be an instrument. Bless others. If you believe that God can use us, I can't feel bad at right? I say, God, I believe you, right? Mm -hmm. I say, I thought the Lord, that it will be time. I'm a man of unclean lips. Live a man of clean lips. And the Lord said, Who will I send? And who will go for me? And as I said, Send me. Will you allow me to send you? If you truly embrace his love. And we start to watch you. We are expecting the same love to others today. Go and talk to God like that. Will you expect the same love and compassion to others that are dying in the world, dying in their sin, dying in their unbelief, dying? Will you expect the same love to them? Go and talk to God like that. 
Grant us to them to go right now to go. I'm willing to go. Amen. But if you have never accepted this kind of leadership, I shall be worried. Your father, I just thank you, Lord. I worship and I join you because of this time. I thought because what you are putting in my heart is your thought to worst us, which are good. Which are the best ones. To so take us out of sickness, pain, and anger. Out of sin and dysfunction. To give us a glorious end. For this, O oh Lord, you died across the cover. For this, Lord, we need our life to you today, Lord. Take over right now, Lord. And to as many as are doing their life to you for the first time, O oh Lord. Give them that power and go and say no more. And empower us with the Holy Spirit to live for you, Lord. And so as many as are willing to read to the to read your reach and declare the same love and compassion you are giving to us to everyone. Help Lord to stand in your word and to abide in your answer. And forever, oh God, we shall worship. We bless everyone that I hear you. You know every need. And I meet everyone in front of their needs. We pray for this nation that that God will raise the whole standard. That whenever the enemy comes like a flood, the Holy Spirit shall raise his standard. But I raise your standard in this nation, in this community, if I'm among us alone. And forever God, we shall worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So by the grace of God, uh, other people are coming. Please, please. Uh, till dawn. Dawn? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. It's like to say, this is good food. Today, oh, okay. Don't, oh, okay. Other people are coming. Is there any comment? Like give me what is God for God. We can be very dancing, joyful. Let's just share the grace together. May the, grace, the grace, grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, That's and the sweet the fellowship Lord. of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we should dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Did you want to pray over the food? Did you want to pray over the food? Yeah. A lot of delicious, yummy food from everybody. Including his happy birthday cake. Yeah, that's that's that happy seventy first yeah. birthday, and some cookies and some yeah, pastries. Yeah. If she did, what type of cookies are they? Oh, that sounds delicious. And she made a salad of what you say, rhubarb or something, a uh, fruit salad. Uh, oh. Onions, That's uh, almost like pala uh, not um almost like tabbouleh a little bit. Yeah, it's got some uh it's kinda like a Mediterranean type of thing. Yeah, I love tabbouleh. And then we have a delicious we have a delicious fruit salad, mango, orange lemon, a bunch of juices, oh and a champagne. And of course sister Olu made what you say, jollof rice, uh that bean pate thingy that she called whatever you call it. it. Tastes like a um the bean pate she made. Whatever you call it. Okay, moi moi. Yeah, moi moi. <laughs> moi, moi. <laughs> and some other moi, yummy moi. stuff. Moi moi. <laughs> that sounds Hawaiian, moi moi. <laughs> I think that's a Hawaiian thing too. A boy boy or something. Oh, it's Nigeria. Well, yeah, that one. But what is the Hawaiian one called? You know, they have something moi Moy something too. Right? Yeah. I think oh, it's yeah, like yeah. some type of raw fish sushi yeah. salad. So and it's a beautiful day. Look at the clouds. Yeah. How gorgeous yeah. it is. Look at it. So nice and blue. 
Pastor Moses is 70th at Thatcher Park. Oh, mighty God. Look how gorgeous it is today. Look how beautiful the blue sky. That looks like the state of Florida, the peninsula part. <laughs> and then they have a beautiful overlook in route to and from and a nice visitor center. And a playground for the kids. I guess they have a swing somewhere. I don't know. And the visitor center is really nice. There I am. Hello. <laughs> they got a playground. Do they have any swings at the playground? I don't even see any swings. Oh, they got some weird swing you got to stand up on and twist your ankle. There's a teenager on it. And a couple of barbecue first come, first serve barbecue pits. Guess look how gorgeous it is. It's gorgeous. Now I'm dizzy going in a whole circle. Oh, I'm super dizzy now. <laughs> Pastor, should I show them the visitor center? The visitor center. The visitor center. It's called the visitor center. They have a little kid stuff. Have you been to the visitor center? They got like a kid's cave and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sure your kids will love it. And they got a sliding board, but I mean, I don't know how long it would take you to get them from there, but they got a sliding board that's outside that's, you know, like, not like that, but like a sliding board made from like outside sliding board thingy. And they have like a really cute visitor center where like downstairs they got a little cave that has to be for like kids because I'm like ducking to go in there. And it's like you go in there and I guess, I guess it's supposed to be for watching movies. It's like a cave for like exploration. Oh yeah, and you could go and explore stuff. I was going to walk over there. Maybe you could bring... Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> Have you seen the visitor center? You've been here before? No. I've been to Thatcher Park. Oh, okay. So you've so seen the visitor center. Different parts of Thatcher Park. Not, not every part of Thatcher Park. Thatcher Park is huge. Yeah, I've only been to the Overlook and the Visitor Center. But the Visitor Center is really cute. You mean the Overlook? What? You pa I took the bus. The CDTA bus, by the way... They have a summer nature bus that comes yeah. up here every other Saturday, and it's free, and they give you a really pretty scenic ride up here, and then they drop you off at the visitor's overlook, and you yeah. can overlook the city, then they drop you off at the um, visitor center, where they have bathrooms and a cute little cave for kids. It's, I guess it's like a science exploratory thing for kids, that they can get stamps and whatever. I liked it too. So I was going to show the people online. I don't know if they're. Is your mom going to go to the visitor center? Yeah. Well, I'll show you guys now. <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom and route. That's nice. I'm talking about online. I'm going to show the visitor center. Huh? Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Well, I'm gonna walk on over there. Are you coming, sis? I'm assuming it's a. I wonder if there's a path to go there. Do you know? I don't think so. Yeah, I just walk yeah, through this path. I know, right? I see there's a, oh, and there's a lot of beautiful walking paths that I've never been on either. And then when I, the very first time I ever came was in 2012 or something. And, well, I don't, oh, she's not here yet. And the guy drove me in, and it was, I guess it was, it was really, really snowy winter. And I don't know if the waterfall, oh, are you? And some ugly mushrooms. She should have chipmunk go. Wow, she was fast. And look at these. What type of mushrooms are these? Are these chicken out of woods? I don't know about mushroom foraging. Yeah, you see? Hey, it's yeah, I guess they don't go up trees like squirrels. So maybe he went down in the 
I don't know what type of mushroom those are. I wasn't there eating it, but I know they have something called chicken and it was that supposedly tastes like chicken. Well, oh, that's probably where she's... Hey, that's a little key for the chipmunk. Mm. <laughs> and she, she ran when she saw my face. Peekaboo, Chi-Chi. <laughs> she's like, I'm not even thinking of coming out with you. Oh, but that's the main parking lot, right? I yeah. think. So it has to be some type of path, <laughs> which is convenient. And then they have all these little picnic tables. That's usually when we I've, we came like two years in a row for our um our Circle's Edge group. We would have like a summer um, free picnic where we would take the CDTA nature bus from downtown Albany and they would go through the city and then go a beautiful, beautiful scenic route up here. And they drop you off at the Overlook so you could get some pictures. Then they take you to the visitor center. But the very first time I came, we went to the Overlook. Then we went somewhere to the waterfall. And it was like a beautiful waterfall. And of course, I've only been there once. And I have no idea where it's at. But I'm sure there's a path. I wonder if the waterfall does it all year long. Probably just in the spring when the snow melts and everything. Very picturesque. Who's still online? Who's still here? Oh, there are four people here. Hello. <laughs> Look how beautiful the sky is. I'm just surprised how beautiful and blue. That's like a picture right there. If you have like a camera, you can take a picture of it and keep it. Like a nice screenshot. I'm the type of person who would take a picture of some leaves on a tree, though, so. Oh, you got a fancy camera. Yeah, I do. Because it's so blue, so I would definitely, especially on that side, it's like behind you. It's like blue and it's gorgeous. It's like super blue. Oh. I know who just hung up. Oh, yeah, here's the visitor center here. And they have various. So I think you have to park. Well, I don't know if this is even you have to pay for. I guess you have to pay for parking everywhere. I don't know. We do have to pay over there. Because there's no one to ticket you is there i mean i guess there is oh you pay there yeah. so it's on your honor type thing oh okay and i guess unlike the overlook where most people just go there and oh yeah actually last year when we came up here i guess it was like after it's free from like after memorial day so i guess from from june until Late September, the CDCA Nature Bus goes to Thatcher Park every other Saturday. Yeah, I know. And then they go to Seven Mile and some that Pine Bush the other Saturdays. And when we came last year, it was some type of um picnic at the over is some type of look at the bulls and something else. Please pay here. Oh, let me get out here. Oh, yeah, here's the CDTA. Oh, is this the nature bus? Oh, yeah, Waterfully, they don't even tell you, um, like, every That's other side. Last year, so I know, right? Because <laughs> they didn't even come out yet this year. Oh, yeah, here's the waterfall. Beautiful. But I think it was that waterfall. When I saw you could almost touch it. I was like, oh, gosh, I've never seen a Oh, camping and oh yeah, here's the nature center here. Oh, like a bunch of bees. I didn't see that, but that's very gorgeous. And the waterfall, Indian. Also, maybe it was the Indian ladder trip. But hold on, I could have sworn he drove. Don't let the two.
Let me get up here. <laughs> but there's a very beautiful visitor center and it's like I guess if you go in here and um, oh thank you you could go in here um, I at the gift shop and there's some type of you go and you get stamps and they got like sandboxes for the kids and then you could it was some type of stamp maybe it was just that time but you could go up and get stamps or something but then you have this thing I think it's interactive well I don't know Oh, and then they have the sliding board out here, which the kids, um, or made out, out of the, or, however, you probably burn egg on this metal, but, and they come up those stones and slide it down. And we last year, years ago, um, one of the ladies in the office brought her granddaughter, and the granddaughter didn't want.
Maybe it's over there. I am Yeah, fishing. She said turkey only. Yes, in Karim, Karim comes to that. It's a product of that is that media only. We see everyone. Uh, is that Larry or Sister Carrie on? Where are you now? Let me come out. Let me see. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a pavilion here. Yeah. Why? Is her mic calling you? That's just the only thing. Oh my god. Oh. oh, hello. That's um Sister Boomy. Hi, Sister Boomy. We missed you for church today. We're at the park at, at the actual. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, happy so Sunday. Okay. Emily, she's saying hi, sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> Her sister, the lady who always came to church hey, in Nigeria. 
You missed and I actually did a walk to the visitor center. It's too crazy. I can't hang up because I can't get on my my, my phone as a buy. I'm gonna pass it on the charger. Uh I'm on this thing. Plus share. I give up. <laughs> Is that Larry? Or somebody. Ah, 